the top of the world's figure skating circuit. Winning title, after title, after title. But when Zhao Hongguo and Shen Shui called it quits on their career in 2007, the only trophy missing was an Olympic gold medal. They twice won bronze, but the top prize remained out of reach as Russian pairs reigned supreme on the rink. Meanwhile, the couple had also decided their partnership was more than just professional, vowing to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. So with an unbreakable bond and added determination, they set their sights on the biggest challenge yet, coming out of retirement for one last chance at that elusive Olympic goal. Then, on a perfect February night in Vancouver, the Chinese pair finally became the Olympic champs. This week on Talk Asia, we're back in Beijing with the winning couple in their first international interview since realizing their dream. Talk Asia. Talk Asia. Talk Asia. 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 Hi, I'm Xue. Hello, this is Hongbo. This is Talk Asia. I hope you enjoy. Congratulations, obviously, to both of you on your fantastic win. Um, I guess life must have changed for you significantly since you got your gold medal. I think that many people are more interested in us. Life has changed a little bit for us. People are paying more attention to us, and more people are starting to like figure skating. So I think our life has changed a bit. And also, I imagine all the attention from, you know, not just Chinese media, but all over the world, everybody wants to speak to you. Yes, we're getting more attention. When we were in Canada and went out for events or went out shopping, many people recognized us and came up to us asking for photos. Okay, hang on, everybody. Sometimes they'd ask while we were eating, and we'd have to tell them to wait until we finished before they could take the pictures. Just describe for me that day when you skated out onto the ice until you realized that you'd won gold. Excellent, yeah. I, uh, we were really surprised. We'd put in lots of effort and paid a big price to achieve our goal. We were thrilled. Olympic gold is our lifelong dream. Ever since we became athletes, we had dreamt of competing at the Olympics and winning a gold medal. We've had this dream for years, so when the medal came to us, it was hard to believe. Were you nervous that day, or were you pretty confident that you would do well? Mm, half to half. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first Chinese figure skaters to win gold at the Winter Games. What does that feel like from a patriotic standpoint? I think we are very fortunate. We have realized the dream of many Chinese in this sport. For the two of us, to achieve this, we are very fortunate. Before this year, China had only won four golds at the Winter Olympics, and the first of those came in 2002, despite the fact that China had been competing in those games since 1980. Why do you think it took so long? The Olympics are so different from all the other competitions because they only happen once every four years. Winning gold has been the dream of Chinese athletes for many years because it's the most important sporting event. After many years of effort, everyone has been giving their best. It takes lots of confidence as well as other factors to win. Everybody puts in their best effort and tries very hard to win. Chinese athletes came close to winning medals in previous Olympics. Over the years, it's not just us athletes, but also many people working behind the scenes, many generations of Chinese people, in fact, that put in lots of effort. Then we finally won. When you won, you ended 
Russia's reign as champs on the ice. For the last 46 years, only Soviet skaters had won in the pairs competition. Did you feel any particular rivalry between yourselves and the Russians? Before 2006, Russia dominated the sport by winning gold at the Olympics for many, many years. At the press conference, after we won, somebody mentioned it was... 48 years. Yeah, 48 years. 48 years or 46 years. But we won it this time. We regard our gold medal like a world record. Someone had to break it. The skating clothing got a lot of attention at the games this year but you guys really stood out because you know while the other skaters were wearing these crazy outfits you guys looked demure and sensible um what did you think of when you saw your fellow competitors going out onto the ice wearing those bizarre clothes I didn't pay a lot of attention to other competitors costumes but the costumes that the two of us wore were carefully designed and prepared for the short program our outfit was very modern, a combination of grey and pink. It was both modern and imaginative. And yeah, imaginative. And for the freestyle, it was a heart that symbolizes love. My love for Shen Xiu. My outfit had the design of a human face. I don't know if people noticed it. It also had a heart, meant for Zhao Hongbo. Our two hearts together. Heart to heart with together. Yeah. <laughs>funny sort of watching you two together because you know I've read that you're very very demonstrative with your feelings towards each other and that's a very un-Chinese sort of thing other people have said it's because you spend so much time overseas do you think that's true this sport is from the West so we've tried to immerse ourselves into the culture of figure skating and follow the trends I think that now now Chinese people have a lot of ideas and lifestyles nowadays are very... People are exposed to a lot of things, so everyone's thinking is a bit westernized. It's very modern and fashionable. success will help to encourage other Chinese figure skaters here? Yes. Our story is the story of very hard work. Lots of effort, followed by success. After the games, many people who knew us shed tears when they heard that we'd won. We want everyone to know about figure skating, to know our story, and to know the process of working hard to reap the rewards. Our job is to promote figure skating, and we'll continue to do that. I think the most important thing in life is to have a dream. If you have a dream, then you will have your own goal to strive for. This does not just apply to athletes, but to the average person as well. I think as long as you have a goal, you will work hard to achieve that goal. The moment you achieve your goal is the happiest moment in life. In other sports in China, uh, the athletes have to give a big portion of what they earn to the state. Do you two have to do that as well? Yes. Yes. Doesn't that hurt? 
？No， <笑>、uh, 因为在国在中国呢，所有的这些 China is very different from other countries. In China, the state provides all the necessities for training, like the stadium, the ice, our food, our lodging, our clothing, everything. Now you've had a very interesting road with your coach Yao Bin because he used to be a professional figure skater as well, but he came last in every World Championships that he entered. What made you think that somebody like that would be able to take you to glory? We believe in him. We believe many things take hard work and perseverance. Our coach is a very persistent coach. When he was competing, he did think about quitting because it was such a loss of face. But then he worked with us and taught us to look at the other skaters' skills as a way of perfecting our own, which is how we got where we are today. I think he's a great man. Now you both came out of retirement in order to compete in the games at Vancouver. How come? And what were you doing in those few years? Were you secretly practicing? <laughs> Actually, we've spent the last two years of our retirement overseas performing in Stars on Ice. I think performing enabled us to maintain. Keep us in good condition. Right, it did keep us in good condition, and it did maintain our performance level and help us improve. So I think when Zhao Hongbo decided to come out of retirement, I thought we really had to make a big decision. So what now? Are you going to retire from retirement, and might we see you in Sochi? You'll see us, but not as athletes. Let's talk about the actual skating.、Um, do you ever get dropped? In the competition, when even when you're practicing, you know, when when you're holding her up high, does that ever fall? Yeah, we often fall, but then we just get up again, just like in life. How do you do those amazing spins, like the really, really fast ones, but you keep perfectly in sync with each other?、Uh, it's a very hard practice. We needed a lot, a lot of training. This year, we had to train even harder and sacrifice even more. That's why we could perform perfectly at the games. And what about when、um, you know that you've got to execute one of those really dangerous-looking jumps? Do you think, "Oh my God, oh my God," and just dread it, or do you just do it? Just do it.、Um, yeah. No fear. No. I do get very nervous. Really? <laughs> But I have faith in him. He won't drop me. Now you both started skating, although you're a few years apart in age. You both started skating when you were seven years old. What was it like those days being child athletes? I liked it at that time. At that time, I thought it was fun and a good workout. I didn't think too too much then, or think that far ahead. 
Then you begin to really enjoy it when you reach a certain level. Now I skate with my heart. Now, before you started skating together, uh, you skated for many years with Xie Ma Mao. What was it like? Was it difficult switching from one person that you know very well and that you've skated with for a long time to somebody that you didn't? I love skating. My first partner left because of injuries. I was young at that time and wanted to keep training and pursue my dreams. In order to become even better, I chose Shan Shui. And it's a good thing that you did. Um, I hear that you both often get, you know, injuries, as you, know, you can imagine. What do you do when that happens? Do you just have to skate through them or what? Sometimes we do. This time around, we have more pains than in previous years. We're training with injuries all the time. Our team doctor has helped us a lot helping us to recover so that we can continue training the next day. We were praying to be in good shape by the time we got to the Olympics. What sort of training goes into this? Because, I mean, to look at you, you're both pure muscle. There's not an inch of fat anywhere. Um, what is it, just, you know, hours in the gym every day and drinking spinach juice, or is being on the ice good enough? We need to do a lot of things to keep in this condition and this physical shape. We need to watch what we eat, exercise, practice our routines, and do lots of weight training. Now, it was back in 2007 at the World Championships in Tokyo that you proposed to Shue on the ice. You got down on your knee, but she had no idea what you were doing, apparently. Is that really how it happened? It took me a very long time, three or four hours before I knew what he was doing. He later asked me, why did you also get on your knees when I did? And I said, I was just following you. I didn't realize he was proposing to me. So when we got back, I was taking a shower and I thought about it for a long time. Then I felt a lot of regret. For so many years, I thought we were in sync. But when the time came to really be in sync, I failed. <laughs> and Hongbo, did you intend for that to happen? Like, did you know that you were going to propose to Shui right then? Or was it, you know, just an excitement of the moment sort of thing? There was a little bit of planning, but when it happened, it took a lot of courage and confidence. I know this kind of surprise for Shen Shui comes only once in a lifetime. If you'd lost, would you still have done it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I definitely would have. Yeah, because at the time, weren't you thinking, I only have one chance? I wanted a life with Shen Shui not just because of that one game. It's because we'd come such a long way together and went through a lot of hardships together. That's why I chose Shen Shui. Do you agree on everything? <laughs> I decide and she agrees. <laughs> That's why we are always in sync. Lots of uh, skating couples also become couples off the ice. I don't really know another sport where it happens as often as it does in skating. Why do you think that is? I think it's because skaters go through many hardships together. It's a kind of love that's different from the love that normal people share. It makes their love for each other more special. Many critics say that you two are among the best figure skating pairs of all time. What do you think it is that 
separates the work that you do from the work that everybody else does? I think we work even harder than others. Right. I think that we... We skate with our hearts. We skate with our hearts. We're persistent and we don't stop trying to achieve our goals. Was winning the Olympic gold the best moment of your lives? Yes, definitely. Yes. It's hard to believe that the Olympic gold medal that we've dreamed of for so long is finally ours. My happiest moment was the moment we won. So then how do you follow up something like that? Because won't everything else in skating be kind of an anticlimax? The moment may come again. I'll be just as happy when other Chinese athletes and our students win a gold medal. We've had a taste of winning. And we really hope our students will have the same feeling one day. So you'd be just as happy if other athletes won gold and you were sitting at home watching them on your TV? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that uh, possibly next year um, you might try for another great achievement, um, a baby. When do you think that baby Zhao might be in a pair of skates? I hope we have one boy, one girl, or two children together, twins. It will be another happiest moment in our lives. <laughs> Do you think that you would encourage your child to go into skating? We'll let him try, if he likes it. Now that you've had this amazing accomplishment, what are you going to do next? Take a holiday? Our next goal is to promote figure skating in China, and there's a lot for us to do to achieve that. We want to let everyone know about figure skating and get more children to participate in figure skating. We're going to tour around China and talk to people and also set up figure skating schools to get more children involved. But the other important thing this year is to prepare to have children. <laughs> and on that very romantic note, I will thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Okay, thank you very thank you. much. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, my feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the show doesn't stop here. You can check out more TalkAsia interviews online at cnn.com forward slash TalkAsia.